Hello and welcome back to the Beta YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking about why I started investing three months before one of the biggest global market crashes we've ever had. I'm going to explain why I started investing, what platforms that I use to invest, my results so far and how you can consistently invest to generate large returns. So firstly, why did I start investing? Why is it important to me? Um, well, it doesn't come as a surprise to some of you, but I studied accounting and finance at university and I've always been in interested in investing since I was around 15, 16. And you can laugh at me all you want, but I watched the Wolf of Wall Street movie and thought that was the life to become rich, happy, successful. Um, and I have learned le life lessons along the way to realize that's not necessarily a path that I want to go down. But that sparked my interest in investing and I picked up a ton of different books by Warren Buffett, Benjamin Graham, but it piqued my interest and it got me interested in this whole finance investment scene uh, scene so that's why i decided to study accounting and finance at warwick and wanted to pursue a career in this area now though i didn't actually end up going down into this finance and investing path i still find finance and fintech in particularly so interesting in my job we work with some fintech companies um, if you've seen my podcast with ticker or scalable capital there's some fintech companies that i really enjoy so Understanding this whole investment sphere from the startup side of things of how they're creating these financial services and also the products they're offering themselves, something for me that I just find fundamentally interesting. And it's important for me that not only am I interested in investing, but that I'm setting aside money each month that I've worked hard for and rightfully earned and setting that aside each month so that I can put it away and know in the future that it's going to be sitting there and hopefully uh, a nice large return on it. So on my second point, what is it that you can actually use to invest? What platforms, what should you be looking for? Individual stocks, government bonds, exchange traded funds. There's a lot of jargon to get past and I've spent the better part of five years trying to study this, not only at university, but reading about it too and still only coming to grasp with some of the, com uh, some of the ideas behind it. So I invest using Nutmeg, which I'll explain and give a demo of a bit more uh, in the next section. But you've got a ton of other robo-advisors out there. You've got uh, Scalable Capital and Ticker, who both I've done podcasts with on my channel, so please check them out. Uh, but you've also got companies like Moneybox, Wealthify, uh, that allow you to invest regularly in a broad, diversified range of companies. So it'll be everything from stocks uh, like Facebook and Amazon with government bonds uh, to gold and other commodities. So it really does vary. So when you sign up for Nutmeg, you're asked for your risk level. So what's your risk tolerance with one being you're very risk averse and you want safe, steady returns. Um, but if you're more towards an eight or nine or a 10 is that you want higher returns, but you're willing to lose some money in the process. So ideally you're investing for the long term. But yeah, as you can see here, there's a breakdown of equities, bonds and other. And then if I go into here, I can see what region they're, they're in. And I chose Nutmeg have two portfolios. Um, I chose the fully managed one so that there's actually someone investment managers that are constantly rebalancing the portfolio and especially at the moment with the pandemic going on. Uh, it was super important for me to be able to have that reassurance that there's someone on the other end. Um, other robo advisory apps will just be a fund that are rebalanced each year and what that means is that they're uh, shifting the proportions of stocks, uh, funds, bonds, whatever's in the portfolio and trying to optimize that. Now this isn't super in depth so I can't go into each of these and understand exactly what stocks, what companies uh, or what government bonds I've actually got in my portfolio. I just like to see the super high level uh, overview and that's good enough for me. And on the app here you can see my projected value. So when you first sign on and you say that you put your principal in which is the first amount of money that you invest. So I put a thousand pounds in. So with consistent investing each month over 20 years this is my projected portfolio value and it falls within these ranges. So the, the dark blue there is the most like highest probability of where my portfolio value will be. So this is really cool because as you increase the amount that you put in each month, you can see the potential impact. And though these returns aren't guaranteed, uh, it gives you a good indicator of where your value of your portfolio will be in, you know, 10, 20 years. But I think Nutmeg is a really simple, easy way to start investing. It's a really slick app, uh, makes it super simple. Uh, so that's why I recommend it to start um, as before you, unless you're more experienced and you want to invest in individual stocks and have a bit more appetite for risk. So you've got apps like Free Trade, Trading 212. Uh, in the US, Robinhood is super popular and an awesome company. So which one's better for you? A robo-advisor that invests in a fund or your own active management of choosing different stocks? Well, it really does depend on your preference and how much time that you want to dedicate to uh, looking at stocks each month, checking the market, 
Um, or if you just want to have something that's more on the sideline, more relaxed, where you can just have a peace of mind knowing that someone is managing your money for you. Awesome. Well, that's how you can start to invest. And the next section I want to go on to is looking at my current results so far, given uh, a pandemic that has happened across the world. So here is the Nutmeg app. So this is the homepage with my total portfolio value. So if I look at my portfolio, I've got a total return of minus 536. Now, this sounds really bad. And with the return on there as minus 16.3%. I should be more worried than I am, but I think given the current world climate, this is to be expected. And if we can take a look at the, some of the markets like the FTSE 100 or the S&P 500 index, you can see here on the S&P 500 from the 14th of February all the way to 20th of March. So that's just over a month. We've had one of the biggest drops in the past 10 years. So given the percentage fall that I've had in my portfolio, but also looking at the market, I'm not too worried. I'm investing with a long-term horizon, maybe 20, 30, potentially 40 years into the future. And it's something that over time that we will bounce back from this fall, unless this pandemic takes a turn for the worse and I've got much bigger problems to be worrying about. So though my returns really, really aren't that great, I'm not too worried and I'm still consistently investing each month uh, and I have faith that the market will rebound back and so my portfolio should follow as well. So number four, I want to give you the tips and the steps that I took to be able to consistently invest and hopefully you can build a fund or save up a good amount of money to hit your longer term goals. The most important thing we do before we get into how you can consistently invest though is to make sure that you have a two to three month cash reserve for your yeah three months worth of expenses. Um, especially this whole world situation at the moment, it's important that you have that safety net on hand. So anything that happens in life that you've got that there to be able to cover you uh, whilst you get back on your feet. So number one, if you're in the UK, I don't know about the US or the rest of the world, but open a stocks and shares ISA. This allows you to put in up to £20,000 each year tax free. Number two is make a consistent breakdown of your earnings and your monthly expenses. Work out what your rent, your council tax, whatever bills that you have outgoing, your phone, Spotify, Netflix, and give a rough estimate of how much of your monthly income that is. So let's say, for example, my overheads are around 50% and the rest is can be saving and for social outings. Now, allow yourself a budget for food, social events, going out with friends, and be realistic. Don't be harsh on yourself. Life is meant to be lived. So if you know that you're the type of person that wants to go out on a Friday night and have a drink, Allocate a budget for it. Don't strangle yourself and suck all the joy out of life just to save money and invest. And then any money that you have left over after looking at this budget, look at making a direct debit straight into that investment account on the day you get paid. This stops you from being tempted to spend that money later in the month when you think that actually I've got some money and I'm only getting paid in a couple of weeks. Have the discipline to set that direct debit up and then it takes it off your mind and then you can be strict on your budget. Once you've got this down, it's just about letting that money go to work and not letting it take over your mind. So with compound interest and dividend reinvesting, so when a company pays you a dividend, uh, Nutmeg reinvests it automatically for me. So I get that extra compound interest and I can see that, that number of my portfolio go up and up and up over, over the years. It really is that simple that you can take these four or five steps and start investing regularly and save up towards your goal. But the most important thing is just to get started and try and keep consistent. And before you know it, you'll look back in a year and you'll have saved a lot of money that you wouldn't have expected. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed. And remember, my advice is not professional advice. So please do your own research. Um, but yeah, just get started. Thank you so much for watching. If you can click the like button and subscribe, it'd be massively appreciated. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy.